I love singing on the choir. It builds my foundation of my faith. It reassures me that in spite of life's problems, I can still have hope. The amount of women in my family that have been affected by cancer is a total of 11 women. The cancer gargoyle is what I've kind of nicknamed breast cancer. It's crossed over three generations, so it's been an intense battle for us for a number of years. I remember so vividly because I was working that day and I answered the telephone and say, hi, this is Felicia speaking, how may I help you? And my physician says, I need to tell you, you have breast cancer. And the moment she said it, I involuntarily screamed out loud and dropped the phone. My son's birthday was a couple of days later, and I kept thinking to myself, I can't tell Brandon, mommy has metastatic breast cancer. It was like I had a 3,000 pound weight of emotions on my shoulder. In my mother's generation and my grandmother's generation, they just didn't speak about anything, and pre my diagnosis, I had no awareness of the impact breast cancer had on the African American community. There isn't anyone discussing it openly. There's no precursor on breast health. I'm hurt, I'm afraid, I'm not quite sure what to do next. My medical oncologist requested that I be genetically tested, and I resisted. This cheese and bread is so good together. Yeah, come on, stop playing. Take some of this. No cheese, no cheese. Thank you, cousin Felicia. Yes. Get in the room. Love you, cousin. My first cousins, Shireen and Anita, their sister had recently passed from the disease. And Shireen calls me. She says, I think we should do something that would bring us some empowerment. Let's talk about genetic testing. Genetic testing is looking at genes that a person is born having to see if they potentially inherited a mutation in one of those genes that is predisposing them to hereditary cancer. I didn't know what to do after I got my positive result. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what was gonna happen to me. Right. I don't wanna die of cancer. So for someone that tests positive for a gene mutation, they could increase their breast cancer screening there are also ways of lowering breast cancer risk, and one way is by taking medication. And then there are some women that choose to preventatively have a mastectomy to lower their breast cancer risk by over 90%. I looked at the percentage. That's what made me have the prophylactic surgery because I felt like I had a better chance of not having breast cancer or ovarian cancer or having the same fate as women in our family had. The further I looked into genetic testing and the more I read, then I began to see, oh no, this is very important, the impact of carrying this gene that you could possibly pass down. It impacts my son and his health and decisions that he'll need to make. And I need to do what's necessary. Many people don't realize that men should be tested for changes in these genes as well. Even though the main cancers that we see with mutations in BRCA1 and 2 are breast and ovarian cancer, 
Uh, there are also risks for male breast cancer, for prostate cancer, and for pancreatic cancer. I have been blessed to be able to be afforded to live when the women in my family die before many of their children even became teenagers. I love to write. I love to journalize, also working on the completion of my first book about my cancer journey. Information is power. It helps a patient make the best medical decision that they can make for themselves. There are those of us that are terrified still today in the African-American community, and I've been told, I don't want to talk about it, I'm Felicia. My first cousins, the ones that have been tested, they're my heroes. We did the surgery. I'm so happy we did it. Here we are today, feeling better. Not waiting. Can yeah. I tell you I take care of my body a little more? I feel like I made the right decision. Yeah. And if I could go back, I would have made the same decision. If one person does something that kind of lights the fire for another person to do something. I thought about it and I prayed on it. And when I looked at the percentage, I said, I have a chance. The chance that our cousins didn't have. Our chance right. that our mother didn't have. Our grandmother didn't have, I have a chance. We've got to do what we can do to limit the impact. One woman at a time, one family at a time, things are going to change in our community.